Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Nivad from the Innova Heart and Vascular Institute and Cardiac Vascular and Thoracic Surgery Associates. And I'm here today to discuss with you a special uh, disease called atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is the most common abnormal heart rhythm experienced by adults. It affects more than 2.2 million people in the United States and at advanced ages may affect one in four individuals. Atrial fibrillation is an irregular heart rhythm that means that the heart is not beating in regular rhythm or sinus rhythm. Atrial fibrillation frequently causes palpitation or the sensation of a racing heart. Some people have no symptoms, however the majority of patients will develop symptoms such as shortness of breath, fatigue and lack of stamina. The diagnosis of atrial fibrillation is established easily by standard EKG or electrocardiogram. In patients whose atrial fibrillation comes and goes, a halter monitoring which was worn continuously for 24 to 48 hours may be required to establish the diagnosis. The reason that atrial fibrillation requires special attention is the potential dangers associated with the abnormal heart rhythm. Atrial fibrillation causes an inefficient heartbeat which can lead to heart failure. The racing heart may lead to a decreased function of the left ventricle which is the main pumping chamber of the heart. Atrial fibrillation is also associated with a significant increase of strokes and was found to be associated with early death. A range of treatment options are available for someone who has atrial fibrillation. The first line of treatment is medical. The medical treatment may be an antiarrhythmic drug that is designed to restore sinus rhythm or a drug that is designed to control the heart rate. Most of the patients are also treated with blood thinners such as Coumadin. This helps to reduce the risk of soaks. Symptomatic patients who fail medical management or experience significant complications with the medical management can be treated by interventions. These interventions are either catheter-based or surgical-based ablation. Ablation means that the atrial muscle tissue is burned or frozen to restore sinus rhythm. There are few indications for the surgical ablation. Symptomatic patients undergoing another cardiac surgical procedure such as valve or bypass surgery. Selected patients without symptoms undergoing other cardiac surgery in whom the surgical ablation can be performed with minimal risk. Surgery in patients that atrial fibrillation is their only problem should be considered for symptomatic patients who prefer to have the surgical approach or have failed one or more attempts of catheter ablation or are not candidates for the catheter ablation. The main operation performed for atrial fibrillation is termed a maze procedure because using ablation it creates an actual maze for the electrical conduction of the heart to follow. It is designed to treat both the right and the left atria. There are other surgical procedures designed to deliver less extensive ablation which addresses only the left pulmonary veins and the left atrium. The maze procedure can be performed using minimally invasive techniques in the majority of the patients. Some patients present for the surgical ablation to treat only the atrial fibrillation due to persistent symptoms following failed catheter ablation or medical therapy. Many patients have had previous strokes, blood clots in their heart, or bleeding complications related to Coumadin. These individuals are good candidates for our new minimally invasive approaches. The current state of our surgical ablation program is excellent. We continuously improve our understanding of the disease process, apply new and modern ablation devices and techniques. We also put in place a unique follow-up program to monitor our patient outcomes and maximize the success of our surgical procedure.